Welcome back to the guided exercise. Now we're going to evaluate the I.O. patterns and we'll see the effects of the scheduling algorithms choices on the runtime of our application, on the behavior of our applications. So we're going to start by preparing the environment. So the tool to you need to run is lab storage patterns start. Please execute this command, wait for it to be applied. Then we're supposed to log in to server A. On the server A also we're supposed to become root, so execute sudo minus I. Now let's, let's have a look at a couple of files. First of all, let's see which scheduler is being currently selected for our system. So in the file called sysblock VDAQ scheduler, you should see that there are square brackets around MQ deadline scheduler. Is that right? Great. So now let's have a list of the control files we have in the IOS sketch directory. So it's sysblock VDAQ IOS shed. And there's a couple of files. There's a FIFA batch, front mergers, and so on and so forth. Let's have a look at the current value of the FIFA batch parameter. Now, currently, it is the default value of 16. So what's going to happen now is that we will install a tool called FIO, FIO. Let's add it to our system, yum install. The operation should be fairly quick. All the dependencies, scripts are being executed. OK, so once it's there, we're going to run FIO to actually generate some uh, workload on the system. We're going to put some stress on it. So the execution is FIO dash dash name equals rand write IO engine lib IO, IO depth equals 1, the RW read, read rand write block size 4K, direct equals 1, size 512 max, number of jobs 2, group reporting, and the file name that we're going to perform tests against, that's a TAMP test file. We run the tool, it will generate quite a lot of uh, output. You want to have a look at the parameter called CLAT, so that's our latency as recorded. Okay, so now we'll create a TUND profile that will change the behavior of the system. So we're going to remove the test file, let's remove the TAMP test file, and now we're going to create directory, etc TUND reduce latency, and we need to create a config file. So we're going to uh, create the, the TUND conf file. Let me show you the contents of the file, etc, TUND, reduce latency, TUND conf. So the file basically is based on the latency performance uh, uh, existing profile. And we want to specify one parameter. Uh, we want to change the FIFA batch to 1. It was 16. Now it is going to be 1. OK, with these changes are being applied, what you can do now is that let's apply the changes. So let's run tune the ADM profile, reduce latency. Once this is done, you can have a look at the contents of the file. It should be set to 1. So let's do cat sysblock VDAQ IOSHAD FIFA batch, and it will tell us that the current value is 1. Make sure that the file test file is removed. And now let's run the benchmark again um, with the same um, command line invocation. So basically use control R or history to find the previous invocation, call it back, run the test again, observe the results, see if any changes were, uh, if there are any changes in the behavior of the system. Uh, it depends on your hardware and, and how, you, how you run the, the, this, this um, benchmark. Once this is done, it's time to clean up. So let's log back to the workstation system and we're gonna run the cleanup script. Lab, storage patterns, Finish. Wait for it to bring back uh, the default setting of our virtual machines. Once this is done, we can move on to the next section. Let's see each other in the next video.